this happened to uh, Musashi, uh, Miyamoto Musashi too, is that when you kill enough people, then you become spiritual. <laughs> yeah, like he retreated to a cave. He became like a, like a hermit, basically. Yeah, he wrote his book yeah. and he got yeah. all philosophical and yeah. spiritual. And, you know, so, so, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. I think that all roads lead to that eventually. You know, when you get tired of, you know, doing uh, that, that, like that reminds me of those people. Uh, like, I don't mean to like judge or mock anyone, but uh, those extremely religious people. And then you get to talk to them, you, you find out they did absolutely everything in life, like everything like you can think of that's maybe reckless or irresponsible or, you know, bad habits, whatever. Mm -hmm. They did that, then they, and then they would tell you that it's made me the man that I am or the woman that I am. But it's basically like the, the accumulative of these bad choices that you made and you know they were bad. You, in a way, you're redeeming yourself through this. Again, not judging anyone, but, you know, I, I tend to see where they're coming from, but it's basically the same, like, like those religious conversions you see of mm -hmm. people, but in martial arts. Yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. So, so uh, you know, like um, the founder of Aikido and even Musashi, like they kind of like, they try to like, like if, they're probably got a little bit guilty about what they did. And they're like, man, I did. I would say, yeah, because um, <laughs> Yueshiba, when like around that time, Aikido and everything, there was the imperial regime that basically bullied everyone. Mm. So, and also he, he infiltrated, like he was in the infantry, so when he fought against the Russians, I believe 1904, might be wrong. Um, he basically attacked, and they, they won against the Russians. So he was in the infantry. So uh, like he, he was not, he was no weak man. So I do believe there was some repentance towards the end of it. Yeah, yeah. And, and it, it makes sense to me, you know, because at the end of the day, it's like, we're all human beings. Yeah. You know, and I think when you when you get closer, when you see enough death, so to speak, and then you get to the end of your life and you realize that, well, you know, you're going to die and this is all going to be over. So then you kind of start questioning, OK, what was all this about? And yeah. then that's when you get into, um, you know, this whole thing. And yeah, and that's when you realize maybe possibly that, you know, we're all kind of um, we're all essentially a piece of life. Yeah, you know, in a physical body, and we're all going through this life, and you know, we're gonna go back to wherever we came from. You know, so yeah. if we're all a piece of life, so we have that in common. So we're all, you know, so then there's a there's a certain connection that's that's kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, certain connection to to other people, like you 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 kind of empathize with them. You kind of like, well, that person is essentially me in a sense. You know, it's yeah. you know, like the, the physical, the physical envelope is different and experiences yeah. and whatever, but they're a lot, you know, that's a piece of life. I'm a piece of life. And if we were to take away the shell, the body and the personality and whatever, then we're essentially the same thing. So why would I treat that person? If that person is, is essentially me in a sense, then why am I doing bad to this person? Why am I harming them? You know, cause harming them is kind of like harming myself. I know that that's a little bit. Yeah, yeah no, I, I see. I see where you're coming from. Um, but just for the people listening, you don't have to go to war and kill people like Musashi and Yueshiba to do Aikido. Disclaimer: like, <laughs> If you want to do it because you like it, you see, I think it's cool, and you're not about fighting at all. Please, like, feel free to do so. Um, also, for the people that had religious conversions, I'm talking about, you know, some people that went to the extreme because of life circumstances. Then. You know, they, they found something that made them a better person. Again, that's great. I'm not mocking anyone. I'm not judging anyone. Uh, but, you know, usually when you see someone that's going in a particular direction and going really deep in it, usually know that they were on, on the other side of something else, maybe. Mm. So you understand their drive towards the other direction. 